What is good fellas, Ray Nation back with another tutorial and this time we'll be on the spot creating a face mask for our player here which is Cade Cunningham and shout outs to Lost Josh for the Cade Cyber face I just edited it to my own liking used my body model for the cyber face and you, you have to admit the dude is looking buff and good boy mm. pristine body model let's go anyways before anything else shout out to Trevor Poirier for this tool actually the tool that I'll be using right now is available way back before 2019 I think for uh, 2000 or NBA 2k19 modding this is this um, tool was used to put face mask to any cyber face for 2k19 2k20 and right now we'll be trying it for a 2k21 png you heard that right 2k21 png so first things first all you gotta do is download the tool which i'll be uploading on the description box link will be available down below so make sure to visit that and in order for you to basically use the tool all you gotta do is just extract it and just put it on your user local disk c user and put it on under the desktop name it says your nba 2k 3d mod 2 so we are good to go i think so just open it up you see here i already put the files for the face mask so i'm just gonna repeat it for you guys just delete that one so for face mask go to accessories and global accessories you see here you have two options face mask one strap or face mask two straps so i'll be picking probably like the two straps there you go it says your face mask ts and the high head model so you all you gotta do is copy that one go back to the very first folder which you will see NBA, NBA 2K 3D mod tool again shout out to Trevor Poyer he owns this tool by the way then just paste that here so you see the model all you gotta do is rename that model to let's say rename it source underscore from then just enter that will be good to go so in order for us to apply that to Cade Cunningham we need this PNG or 3D model right I already have it here extracted there you go this is Cade and the hi head so copy that one here make sure the exported new folder on the tool is empty there you go it's empty and just open the face mask and the hi head at the same time mm, so we have two here so is this correct though no? oh no no give me a second let me open them Let's open the face mask first and open the high head of Cade Cunningham. So just put it on the other side in order for us to have a very or a better view of the commands here. So as you can see on the face mask theme, we have here the face mask shader. All you got to do is copy that and go to the last part of the high head scene of your PNG. What I usually do is I go to the end of the command and delete it, add space and comma. Okay, then press enter, delete twice and paste it. Booyah. So remember to leave a space here. Never leave the end of command with no space. It will not work. So just put a space there and you are good to go. So you are seeing here right now the prim section of this face mask. As you can see here, it has face mask shader. You got to do is copy that. Copy that. Yes, we need to copy that. Everything. And go to the prim section of the PNG or your PCF. It's going to be a long list of commands. We need to go to the prim section. Oh, there it is. And go to the last part as well. As you can see, the last part, we need to put a comma again. So... We, as you can see here, there's a face shader already here. It's, it's all good. Put a comma in there. Sp 
pay or enter delete up until to the, the edge of the notepad plus plus then paste it there boom you are good to go and as you can see this triangle list is already redundant you will see it in the upper part of yeah there the prim section so we just need to delete them and it's, it's kind of redundant so just delete that whole line and you are good to go so press Control S to save the commands. Let's see if it will work. So Control S, then you can go ahead and exit. Then this is the magic. Again, make sure that the export or exported folder is empty. So we need to double click the application tool on the mod tool. It takes some time. It may take some time depending on your processor, depending on your PC. So just submit model geometry data task completed it says so we're good to go right and how do we check that by the way so what I usually do is control C on the high head and put it on the exported new file control V and copy the address and load it on blender so let me restart my blender here so load it on blender there you go let's see if it has face mask boom see the face mask right there guys mm, that looking good so the last stop here is to actually fit the face mask to the PNG so how do we do that easy go on edit mode okay let me just there you go much better so just click the high head on the right side go to edit mode and just click the face mask the reselect that lower the upper and the front okay so we have the face mask highlighted here and we need to adjust the positioning right so let's try man oh oh it's looking good man oh looking it's just looking perfect so far okay so we need to adjust a bit so as you can see we kind of have some problems with the straps right it's big ah it's fine so just deselect everything go to the top or the face mask top strap and you can actually fit this to the head just uh, click s and just move your mouse mm, it's getting smaller and smaller let's see i might i might adjust this one later depending on the uh you know the the headband needs to be fixed as well but it's all good i mean it's, it's kind of it's looking good so far and uh, do that as well to the bottom strap yeah we just click s and move your mouse mm -hmm. yeah we're looking good so back part is a bit long we just adjust it forward that's how i usually do it depending on you guys if you want to do it like this okay i think we're looking good so far so we just need to go back to object mode see if it fits it's not really fitting right now just go back to edit mode click all the face mask and just align it to the cyber face man mm, I think it yeah there this is mm, a bit rough looking but I think it's all good it kind of looks good so just adjust it a bit okay it's really up to you on how do you or how you adjust this one really depends on you right now the main my main concern is fitting everything or not messing the headband up okay cutting up although i don't really equip headbands to this png but i really want it to be perfect fitted so what are you mm. well let me go ahead and just put the head my inside his head mm. in order for us to make sure that this face mask will fit properly 
okay so we don't have the tool now or that face mat or the uh, headband sorry so I th it's not really a line oh no 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 yeah I think that no there you go it is much much better oh okay okay I see you so we need to select the strap the, the upper part no draw Z and just rotate it a bit there you go also the bottom part select I don't really need to rotate this one but I will still do it okay so there you go this is how you fit a face mask on your PNG or how how you equip face mask on your PNG file so we just need to export this one let's just wait for blender to finish exporting the file then I will show you the outcome okay so we have the model here again shout out to Lost Josh for this wonderful Kate Cunningham cyber face I only edited it on my liking it's not for share mind you guys so hmm okay so just copy the 3d model with the high head and go to your game let's see if it will oh it did not work oh because of the high head I'm sorry guys you need to copy the high head because we imported that or we put a code or a command in there with the face shader right so you need to copy the high head and the 3d model as well so let's see there we go so if you want it oh it's looking good bruh not gonna lie this oh this looks dope me Kate Cunningham with the face mask bruh this look good man okay so that's how you do it in, if you want to change the color of the face mask go ahead and do the UV maps I'll be discussing that one on a later tutorial and if you guys have some questions all you gotta do is comment down below send me a DM on my Facebook page and I'll be happy to answer you guys and again this is Ray Nation and we are out yo peace